Hey, I'm at the Blue Star Memorial Highway in Yuma, Arizona, and I want to share with you this fantastic plant. This here is a honey mesquite, Prosopis glandulosa. It's a small to medium sized thorny shrub. And now you find this in the southwestern United States and along the Mexican border. So the Prosopis glandulosa, it has a rounded, big, and floppy drooping branches with feather foliage. Check out this feathery foliage with the little seed pods. It flowers from March to November. It's got these pale yellow elongated spikes that bear straight yellow seed pods. So here's a close-up of the pods. You see they're um, yellowing. These are green, so you got two little seasons here, but the pods will open. And we take a good look inside maybe. You might be able to see a seed in one of the pods. Well, maybe not today. But anyway, you get the idea. So, you know, medicinal purposes, animals eat this. I don't sure that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. But here you go. It's got these thorns on it, like all the other mesquite. It's really a, uh, check out that thorn. That's a nasty thorn. Yikes. Here's a few more. All right. Now the honey mesquite provides great nesting material for lots of little small animals. And as its name indicates, honey, it supports the native pollinator species of bees and other insects that cultivate honey, um, you know, for their food. It is a larval host for the long-tailed skipper and recurts blue butterflies. Now, the indigenous people of California and southwestern North America, they use parts of this uh, plant for medicinal purposes, a food source, building and tools, and uh, fuel. There you go. Have a great day. Bye.